This is the history of how South Lake came to be, told by the community leaders who made it happen. This is Table Talk with Mayor John Huffman. Hey everybody, it's Mayor John Huffman and welcome to episode two of Table Talk. And today I am in a South Lake institution with uh, two gentlemen that, that built this place and made it happen and have been around this town for a long, long time. Papa Bill LeFavors and Mike okay. LeFavors. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Here. Appreciate Thanks you guys. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for hosting. We are in the barrel room of the feed store barbecue and everybody knows it because everybody's been in here, everybody yeah. in town. Um, you know, what, what we do in these is we, uh, I, I wanna talk to the folks who really help build this city because, you know, as y'all know, South Lake uh, has a lot of people who've been here for a long time, but a lot of people who come and go and new residents. And sometimes, uh, you know, it's good to hear this, the history of the places you're from. So um, I, with that, let's, I just wanna have a conversation. So tell me when you guys first moved to South Lake and, uh, and, and then we'll get into the history of the restaurant. Well, we moved here in 1974, uh, the day after July 4th, in 1974, we moved from Carrollton, Texas. So we're working right now on our 50th year. It's awesome. And this, uh, and this was a, there was nothing, of course, like it is today. There was farm equipment across the road. I, I, I bought on this road, and I think the reason that I bought I mean, the reason I could afford to buy it was because it was, it was kind of a junky room. Mm -hmm. I mean, they had all old farm equipment, old stuff all over the place. Uh, and this was a grocery store then, Bill Miller's. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I bought here and it was good price. Now I couldn't, I couldn't come back here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little more expensive now. Oh yeah, it has gotten so. But South Lake has really grown, I think, beautifully. Uh, we've had some pretty tough people on the council and mayors and everything uh, that have demanded a lot of things out of South Lake that's, that's, that's made it a better place. In uh, White Chapel uh, here, I, I at one time back about 25, 30 years ago, I was trying to sell this place, move over to Sunshine Lane, because Sunshine Lane's got some beautiful places. So how did you hear about South Lake? So Carrollton's, what, 15, 20 miles away? Well, that was, that, was, that was kind of the city at that point, right? Or was that out in the country too? Well, what caused all of this to happen, in first, we had a nice big home in uh, Carrollton, in a place called Country Place. Got a little golf course and tennis courts and all of the stuff and everything. Mike, I guess you were in about the eighth grade. Uh, eighth grade, and uh, the school system there. Thing, and I said, I told my wife, uh, we're going to get out of here and start. You know, I'll start looking. And I, I don't know. It's just convenient to come out here, I guess. Yeah. You know, it was it was close to the airport. It was close to not far yeah. Well, I did it. Yeah, for me to travel and everything, it was a was a good good place to live. Yeah, because uh, uh, at the time you were working for Brown Foreman. Brown right? Foreman. Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. Most people don't know who Brown Foreman is. Well, tell everybody who Brown Foreman is. That's Mr. Jack Daniels. Mr. Jack Daniels. Well, no, they Brown Foreman had about he had over thirty products. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of them, uh, the history making uh, uh, bourbons and stuff like that. But uh, okay. so you were sales. doing sales for them and could live anywhere. Pardon? You were doing sales for them and you could live anywhere. And South Lake was it? Uh, yeah, I, I had my office uh, was at the. Um, uh, it was a Marriott. Yeah, you had your office okay. there. But when we lived in Carrollton, I think you had your office was either over close to Manana. We're off yeah. Mockingbird Lane. Okay. Yeah, you, yeah. Right. Dallas County. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so Mike, what? How did you take the transition? You were in eighth grade coming over here. So, <laughs> how did how did you feel about all that? <laughs> you have no choice. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. You weren't consulted. <laughs> no. But uh, the, one of the secrets was is that while we lived in Carrollton, Mom looked to keep us entertained, 
And mom had the whole family enrolled in dance lessons. No, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Michael uh, Favors is a dancer. We're I breaking was, news. I was taking cat, ballet, jazz, nice. and acrobatics. <laughs> and we come in here August. I go to freshman orientation. And, and our the lunchroom was nothing more than a hallway. Wow. And there was probably about 30 some odd people there. And uh, uh, they were, mom and dad were still talking about maybe, you know, I need to continue with my dance lessons. And I go and look at this, thir- and I can keep it a secret with eight or 900, but yeah. you can't keep a secret with 30. No, you can't. No. <laughs> so uh, I quickly uh, gave up my career in dance. <laughs> so, so who, who, but, but if the barbecue thing doesn't work out, you could yeah. revive that. Yeah. I'm just saying. No. Uh, who, who had played the elegant elephant? Was that Matt or that you? Matt. Yeah. That was Matt. Yeah, he, that was his dancing. He had a costume just like an elephant. I love it. That's he was called the elegant elephant. <laughs> That's awesome. It, it, it was good. You could do it in a big in a big school district. That's right. You can be anonymous. That's right. Thirty people. You cannot be anonymous. So there were. You're saying there are thirty people in your freshman class in orientation. There was thirty some odd. My my senior class in '78. There was thirty six of them. That's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Where was the high school? Was it was it the one where the administration of... building is? Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, old Dragon Stadium mm-hmm. and all that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, uh, okay. my high school annual was one book had kindergarten through twelfth grade in it. Wow. And all the janitors and the lunchroom ladies. <laughs> and, I mean, you know, padded cover to give it some thickness. And, oh my gosh! Wow. So. Thirty six people in your graduating class. So how was the transition? I mean, it sounds like going from the city to the country. And, did you guys in, enjoy it? I mean, what was the what was the what was it like being out here then? Because I thought, you know, part part of this is stories and, and, and getting people to picture what this place was like. Yeah, like, we'd go up to the oh, Grapevine auction and then, barn, and Daddy would buy. We bought horses from there. He bought livestock from there. And yeah, the old auction. Was Timuron big, was big, a big hog big. farm. Timuron was a hog farm. The auction barn was where the uh, Delta Hotel is now, right? Right. Yeah, right up there yeah. at the corner, though. Well, how many acres did you buy when you, like, what was the size of this plot? Uh, I bought, uh, let's see, 6.58 acres, the first one, and that was back behind the store. I mean, that was back a little further there. And then I bought five acres in front of that. Uh, I'm going to tell you about that. Yeah, <laughs> keep make everybody see. I said, well, yeah. I, well, I was looking at it one day there, and I, I just put up that pipe fence. It's been up for a long time, and I said, you know, I paid more for this fence than I paid for the place. <laughs> That's and, amazing. I know, man. It was, well, so, so when you bought the acreage, did did you did it include the grocery store at the time, or is that no, later? no, no, no? We it was. I, I tell you, I'll be honest with you. I bought this place here, kind of to get rid of it, mm-hmm. because from my house. You mean you mean the could, store? Yeah, you were going to get rid of the store? Yeah. Interesting. Well, it was ugly on the backside. Sure. It had an old container sitting out there yeah. and everything. And I, uh, <clears throat> when I first bought it, I bought it. I said, well, you know, someday they may, we may develop. Or something like sure, that. and uh, we get rid of it, but we uh, we we got it and changed it over just to feed. Uh, well, it was already changed over to just to feed. And everything, but it was a I don't know, just kind of brutal. Yeah. Well, no, when when did you buy it? When did you actually take possession of the store? Oh, ninety seven. Ninety seven. Okay, so you lived yeah. here for twenty plus years before before buying it. Yeah, yeah, and, and at yeah. the and at the time, your restaurant options in South Lake were, I, I read there was, there was yeah. a Dairy Queen on One Fourteen, right? Yeah. You know, one of the reasons we, uh, you you know Rick Stacy, of course. Yeah, Rick uh, was mayor. Uh, I think at the time we bought this, wasn't he? Mm. Anyhow, Rick was a good friend of the family, and uh, uh, he said that made a statement. He said, "Well, what South Lake needs is a good barbecue." Wow. So we've been tossing around the idea about what could we do with it or just tear it down and, you know, uh, let it go. Uh, but uh, we, we decided on the barbecue. Plus, I had, you, you see that uh, apron over there yep. on the wall? 
So it's that, Jack Daniels World Championship Invitation Barbecue. Yeah, we do the World Championship Barbecue oh, every oh, year in Lynchburg, Tennessee. In Lynchburg, yeah, okay. We have teams from Australia, Germany, wow. all over the world. You got to win a region or a state in order to participate in that. Yeah, some it's of the best, best barbecue cooks. Yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah. Anyhow, that, that I thought, well, I, you know, I knew something about barbecue. Yeah. But uh, Mike taught me most of it. <laughs> yeah, so so tell me about how that went. So you bought the store, it was a feed store. A couple years later, was it 2000 or 2001, you decided to turn it into barbecue, right? I say so you in bought it in 97 and 91. Uh, well, I, I tell you how I remember it. A few minutes, a few months after we started 9 11, mm. and that's just uh, mm. the restaurant started. Yeah. A few minutes after the restaurant started. Wow. It was a traumatic, traumatic year. Uh, yeah, we had a lot going on that year. We've, uh, we've, you know, at big, beautiful homes out here, multi million dollar homes, everything. Phyllis, my wife, says we live in, uh, what she call it, uh, a uh, sharecropper shop. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen your house. Hey, well, well compared house. to these <laughs> other houses, uh, that's exactly true. But it, I love it. It's a beautiful place. It really is. Right back there, and it's been good for us. Yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, I guess the kids will take well, it on and keep it. You know. It's been. It, we thought it was big back then. There wasn't much. Too many more bigger houses than what your house, thirty-five hundred square feet. There wasn't a lot of. Houses bigger than that, and no, that, yeah, that's right. They, the big ones come in, and after mm -hmm. we moved here, mm -hmm. but we, we, his property held. After a Carroll game, we'd have a victory party. It wasn't a lot of victories, but we still called it a victory party. <laughs> well, and uh, we would use various pastures or yeah. places up oh, on yeah. the lake, and we drive up in their cars. And, oh, sure, you know, drive into the pasture and. Start a little fire in the middle of the pasture and that's awesome. Play music, it was, you know. That's well, great. And the police used to come out regularly during our uh, to make sure nobody was in the car. Of doing course, nothing, of course, or, or something like that. It was a. Did but you could used to, you know, we'd have a bonfire down there in the bottom right. uh, area. I mean, in a huge, huge bonfire. Yeah, nobody cared. Nobody cared. So, Nobody cared. so what were, I know you were working for Jack Daniels yeah. in, in, before the feed store yeah. and what, um, but you guys were still involved in the community. You were very involved in the community. I know you've, yeah. you've got some stories about that. I think people would love to hear about some of your community involvement, especially with related to, to youth sports. Yeah. Well, they built the baseball field. Yeah. The first they baseball field. Baseball field up here. Uh, of course, it's a little different now than it was. Yes. Well, nicer now than it was then. Yes. Yeah, so tell me about that. When was that? How did it start? Like, when did oh, you get the idea to build a baseball? When was it? I don't have to. I, I don't remember the exact date, but it was. I think right when they started calling it Bicentennial Park. So, so, so when it was Bicentennial, it was just a park. No, no ball fields. It just no. had the tennis courts. Okay. And um, um, and and the, and the parking lot. And there was no dedicated baseball fields. It was a small park. They didn't have a lot of yeah, right. acreage to it like right. they did now. And uh, Dad and a group of fellows were all involved with the SBA, South Lake Baseball Association, yeah. um, which I believe that James and Randy Arnold were having to be president of at the time. And uh, Dad, Nate Height, and a group of individuals got together. The city them. couldn't afford to build a park. Wow. And uh, well, the state had a deal at that time that if we were building and working on things, they would match the money. That's great. Uh, or the value. I mean, we didn't we didn't buy things. We did them ourselves. And yeah, sure. Uh, uh, they would they would uh, the state would match that value uh, of that. Give us send to get the money. That's great. You know, well, we didn't get it. The city got it. Yeah, uh, electric yeah. company donated the poles. Uh, one of the uh, local right. gentlemen, uh, electrical uh, guy, 
wow. he donated his services to wire up everything. Wow. Mesco Metal Buildings, uh, they donated a, a metal building that they had, I think, may have had concessions at one end and stored all the wow. field supplies in. And, uh, I think Dad's main job was kind of grease the wheels with Jack Daniels. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> tell. Them, I don't know if that, that this is probably illegal. To, well, <laughs> I think you're past the statute of limitations. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I had the the stands built there. There wasn't per, not very big stands. The bleachers, the metal and all of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, aluminum bleachers. Uh, yeah. uh, no shade. A friend, no. a friend of mine uh, uh, built those. I can't, they cost me a case of Jack Daniels nice. for those stands. That's what it cost. That's me. a pretty good deal. That's yeah, a pretty good deal. That's a good deal. Yeah. Hey man, workers got to get paid too. I love yeah, it. Oh yeah. yeah. So so do you all remember the first game? I mean, was it like a big ceremony uh, where people came out and played for the first time? Uh, I got the video of it. I mean, do you really? I do. Oh, Mike, you, like you have to find that. VHS. I, I got the whole dedication part. Uh, wow. Dad talking and, and all that. I'll have, to, I'll have to get you a copy of it. That's awesome. And uh, uh, watching these old guys take a swing at the bat, <laughs> run into second place and having to stop, and they're going. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's, and, uh, I mean, that's really special, though. That's a piece of it. I mean, South Lake Youth Sports, right? I mean, we're known for our sports, and yeah. that's where it started. And that was was Field 11, right? What is now Field 11, right down the hill it, from the... It's one right behind the uh, uh, Parks and Rex Department. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's amazing. That was, uh, was, that uh, was uh, They had Texas A&M draw up where it was supposed to be, the, yeah. where it faced, so it would optimize, you know, um, yeah. the sunsets and everything, I guess. And, and, and you well, know what? Well, Kids still play baseball in that field today. Oh yeah, fifty yeah. years later. Well, we well were, it was the kids played on it all the time then too. It's really cool. We had it set up. Dad's yard was a was a practice field. Oh nice. Yeah, my front pasture. Right nice. Here. That's yeah, cool. we uh, set up a corner fence and uh, that's correct. But there was no practice fields either. No right, right. So we would mow out a a, a field for for them. Oh, what that back big back thing I used to have out right here. I think we moved that over to the Methodist Church. Or something, so they could practice over there. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, but uh, see, that's the kind of history that uh, I think people enjoy hearing. You know, because this place, yeah. this South Lake, didn't become South Lake accidentally. It became South Lake very intentionally, and it, a lot of a lot of work went into it, and work from the community. I mean, we're, yeah. we kind of live yeah. in a world where oh, yeah. the city has a hundred plus million dollar budget, and you know, obviously, it's funded by taxpayers, and that those funds are used to do infrastructure projects, but. Once upon a time, it was a bunch of volunteers with some Jack Daniels, yeah. right? And and that's how things got done. Well, I used to I go up there and mow it on Dad's tractor because it wasn't wow. wasn't as nicely mowed or kept. That's amazing as it is now. It's just a, a big field. I ran for city council one time. Did you really? Yeah. Did you win? Um, well, I did the worst. Um, <laughs> you didn't I have got, enough Jack got, Daniels. Well, yeah. I, I think. Um, I don't think I could say that on camera. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you should have given out more Jack Daniels. Yeah. 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 Sounds like a promotion. <laughs> well, I, I, I should have. Boy, and people, the big deal in those days was, should we have sewer or not? Oh, interesting. Well, and that was a that big... That was the big political issue? Oh, that was the biggest political wow. issue. We had a mayor at the time, I won't mention his name, it's this used to be like farming people out here, sure. mostly. Sure. And he he put out the word that if you vote for people like us, you're going to have sewer and stuff like that coming in. Imagine and that. you're not going to be able to afford to live here. Wow. It's going to be too expensive. You got to have to have sewer, and all of this stuff and everything. And uh, so you guys, you guys were on the pro sewer ticket. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah! Imagine, imagine, yeah, imagine that, that. that was a hot topic. Well, I had a big septic tank up here. Yeah, sure. Of course. Uh, that's amazing. That's it, amazing. It, it, well, I will say that your vision of South Lake ended up the right. I'm very happy we got sewer. Uh, <laughs> I think everybody is. Yeah. Oh yeah, South Lake had just done wonderful, and there's a lot of great people. A lot of wealthy people. 
No, and I've been trying to get there all my life. <laughs> well, you, your, your, your restaurant's been an institution. My wife and I. Uh, you know, it's funny to hear the history again with the dates. My wife and I moved here in 2008 and started coming to the feed store like everybody else. But it's funny because I guess you were only seven years old at that time. But it still felt to us. Wow, yeah, feed store's been around forever. I mean, it was already an institution. Yeah. And I know there's a lot of work that goes into small business, uh, especially restaurants. Uh, but it's just interesting that you know, without the benefit of that history, you just you kind of you kind of forget that a lot of work went into getting where we are. So with with the barbecue, you guys you guys have not owned barbecue restaurants before. You just decided based on well, I did, my connection was your connection was Jack Daniels. Was yeah, the, the, yeah, the world championship yeah. thing. Kind of, I mean, I I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, well, but you never owned a restaurant, right? No. So Mike, no. were you involved from day one? Was this part of your? No, you my, my brother was. Yeah, yeah, Matt. Okay. Yeah. So, how did you get involved, and when? When did all that happen? Uh, it was my turn in the barrel. <laughs> I fired. <laughs> I fired his brother uh, twice. There you go. There you I, go. I've been I, fired, I fired you twice. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. I just right now it's my you know my turn in the barrel. Yeah. So let me laugh. I so. am doing a fantastic job. I mean, really, Sorry. really super, man. Right? Yeah. All the family appreciates so. you. Know, well, it's uh, well, all South like appreciates y'all. I mean, uh, you know, it's not just the food. The food's excellent. Mm -hmm. I truly think it's the best barbecue in this area. Um, you just don't get better than the feed store. Um, well, we I, thought I will it say, was in the world. See what? Uh -huh. We thought it was in the world. I think it is the world, yes. <laughs> uh, but I will say it's not just the barbecue. Not This isn't a commercial for feed store, but people sleep on your burgers. Like mm. you, it's yeah. the best burger in Tarrant County, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. Do not miss the feed store burger. Obviously, your barbecue is amazing, but man, that burger is good. Man, mm. yeah. you, but you know that. Um, so okay, so when, once you got the restaurant going, um, did the community embrace you? Did it, did it be, was it was it an easy transition or? How, how, well, tell me about those it, early years. It grew slowly, like a lot of things. Sure. You know. I, I was really worried about it myself. Um, I thought, boy, well, you know, if I can sell 200 sandwiches a week, <laughs> or this yeah. right here, yeah. I can pay the thing. Of course, we didn't have no employees yeah. except yeah. a couple then. Uh, and it uh, grew, and then when Mike took over, it just zoomed up. It, because he he was on the front page of magazines. Yeah. And his, uh, well, we we had some help with like Gallagher, you know. Yeah, Mike we, Gallagher. You, when you we know did Mike Gallagher. Oh yeah, yeah, on the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah Mike was a dear. He he lived that here. Did he really in Southland? Huh? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. yeah. Mike was a wonderful friend, and uh, anyway, he 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 would get on his radio program and promote us. That's great. Uh, you know, and I forget what that was. Somebody said something about us being out here in this, running in this neighborhood or something. Like that. Boy, and he put one whole program against him and he called this person that... Uh, we were going well, for our beer permit. Who, who always that lady that always on TV, looked out the window and always nosy in about it. Kravitz. Mm. Is Kravitz on Bewitched? Yeah, bewitched. <laughs> hey, Mike Gallagher going ourselves. all over the country. <laughs> but, uh, the kids are like bewitched. What? <laughs> you know, we've been very. We've we've served uh, food on Air Force One. Have you really? Yeah. Oh. When was that? Uh, Tell me that story. Oh, it's just With been just a couple years. Jack right? Daniel connections there, and yeah. Uh, well, we got. Uh, they requested uh, some food from us, and so we. We didn't go see Air Force One. We yeah. handed it off to a group that went out. That's amazing. Air Force One. Well, we had uh, Trump's team come here. Had Trump's team come here. We've had Department of Homeland and stuff and they eat. And Very good. We did. Uh, uh, they had a Homeland Security has been here for lunch. Yeah. Well, who was president when you gave the food on Air Force One? Was that Bush? Was it the Texas that was, connection? That was Obama. Obama. Well, yeah. when I said earlier, we're world famous. Uh, we shipped 25 racks of ribs one time to Milan, Italy. Wow. You know, we've shipped out some shipping. We never could make a deal with FedEx. 
uh, or UPS to get the price down. But a lot of people work for companies that they can ship it in their name and the price uh, price gets down. But I've, I've had people that tell me that at the airport or they go people to buy frozen stuff and put it on top of their suitcase. Yeah, no they are they say people the, the security there would say, "Oh, you've been to the feed store." That's awesome. <laughs> That's so great. Yeah, it was a well, and especially in this town where people. You got a bunch of pilots who live here, a bunch of people who travel, a bunch yeah. of people who move here and go other places. I mean, absolutely, you guys are world known. So, have you a question? I'm just slightly off topic. Have you ever thought about doing another location, or or did you ever think about that? Oh, we did one. Did you really? Yeah, Where? yeah. We we tried it. Uh, Keller uh, actually paid us to come over there. Hmm. They uh, cut the taxes for, for yeah. For, uh, we were there for what, two years? Yeah. Year and a half, or yeah. two years. Uh, we were down there in that area where all of the restaurants are, the bars. And yeah, yeah, like Main Street. Yeah. Old and, Town. And, uh, Old Town, yeah. There's a place, what was it? Up in Smoke is what it used to be called. Gotcha. Uh, anyhow, we, we took that place over. We did pretty good business down there, but we're a family restaurant. Yeah, yeah. And, and it just. Can't That's scale that. Very, yeah, yeah. You, you know, if you don't have a bar, and we have a bar license and everything, but we don't have, we, if you ever got a company and you want us to have a party and set up a bar, we can do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but know, it's not. We have the permits and everything. Right. But we don't, we don't do very much of that at all. We don't cater to the it. bar crowd. We're not. No, you don't. Bar. Well, that's, you know, that's interesting because that's a, that's usually a huge part of a restaurant's revenue, right? Is their bar? Yeah. It's less than three percent of ours. It's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, no, we're not. We, well, we're we're family. Yeah, right, right. Well, that's why you get lines of kids. I mean, at all yeah, times yeah. of day. No, no, we're very kid friendly. We, yeah. we want to be family oriented with the dad's cattle out back and yeah. Yeah, the being cows. able to feed them and the donkeys yeah. and the goat. And the, it's perfect. So we've always strived to be that. We, we've had, yeah, we've had so many good memories here. I, my first political kickoff was here, and I, everyone I've ever done since. Uh, I remember a couple of years ago, you opened up at 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. to watch Haley Hernandez in the Olympics. Yep. Remember that? Yep. She was diving, and, and I mean, which is, I, how incredible is that? So, so, you know, you guys could have been doing, obviously, a million other things, and you, you allowed us to, allow the community to come out at 2 a.m. to support a homegrown Olympian. And there were probably 150 people here. Yeah, it was, that was a good night. That was so fun, so many great memories, yeah. but everybody in town has great memories from Feed Store. Well, we, we, we hope so, but uh, you know, we, we really strongly believe in just giving back and, and being, a, being a part of it, yeah. and not just taking money from it and, yeah. and everything. Mom and dad are still here, and, uh, so we really want to still be a part of everything. Yeah. So, yeah, y'all y'all just done a great job. And, and, How, let me ask you a lot of good old friends out here, you know? Yeah. People we know and have known for so many years. And that sometimes I look at the oh, audience for the feed store here and I say, Oh, we're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> well I like to see more but we get a lot of young people now. Uh, I like to see more young people in there. No doubt. They'll be with us longer. So yeah. how, how do you guys feel 50 years after you moved here, seeing what South Lake's become? And, and, and knowing that you've had like a, a huge imprint in that. I mean, you've been around for a third of South Lake's history. I mean, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Now y'all have been here for two thirds, but your restaurant's been here for a third of yeah. South Lake's history. Like what does it make you feel driving around and seeing all the development? Can't remember where all the street names are, but I can remember. Yeah, I can I, drive by and still remember the trees that that used to be the front entrance of someone's driveway. Someone yeah. in you know, their small yeah. farm or, 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 or lot, whatever they had, I can still see those landmarks. You know, like mm -hmm. what the, in Town Square, mm -hmm. the Fuckle Farm. Mm -hmm. But it's yeah, still yeah. huge, the two oaks that are right there. That's so cool. Uh, everything was farming community and stuff. I mean, it wasn't our place was a cantaloupe farm. That's in crazy. The old days. Wow. Not since we've been here, but. Uh, there's horses. This was one of the highest population of horses in the in the country. We had some 
expensive horse farms. Yeah. Oh, I've heard that. But yeah. when them people started moving in, they started, you know, getting away from them. Because Go further out. Yeah. But it's it been a, South Lake is a wonderful place. Well, I, we agree. South Lake's a wonderful place. And we appreciate everything both of you and your families have done for this place. And, and the impact you made in the community. And obviously you're not done impacting this community. Yeah. We appreciate that very much. But um, you know, just hearing, hearing the story and, and, and knowing what you guys have done for South Lake, we just really appreciate it. And we appreciate you coming on and, and telling us some of those stories. It means a lot. Thanks, Papa hey, Bill. Hey, hey. Appreciate you, sir. Hey. Thanks, Big Mike. Appreciate you guys. You. Papa Bill of Favors, Michael of Favors, y'all come see him at the feed store. We'll see you next time on Table Talk. This is the history of how South Lake came to be, told by the community leaders who made it happen. This is Table Talk with Mayor John Huffman.